Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Ill Bleed. And now it's finally time to enter the Michael Reynolds Museum. All of the theaters have been completed, all of the attractions have been cleared, and now there is only one more place for us to go, and that is through the doors to the museum. And now that those doors have been unlocked, we will finally meet face to face. The man behind Illbleed, the man behind all the madness, all of the insanity, all of the bizarreness we've encountered through these last six attractions. It's time to finally meet Michael Reynolds. Congratulations, fortunate visitors. You've managed to make it to the last room before you'll get out of ill bleed. A hundred million dollars awaits you if you can make it through in one piece. Ah, uh, 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 not so fast. I, Michael Reynolds, have a very special gift for you first. Uh, come, come now, don't be scared. It's just a painting. This one's by Stuart Milburn who's been my art director on the films I make. As you see, here is his signature. There are three paintings you can choose from, actually. Maybe you'd like some help deciding. <laughs> make your decision wisely, as you only get one. So Michael Reynolds is letting us choose which last boss we have to face. There are three to choose from, each of them represented in a painting from one of Michael Reynolds' movies. But, on the other side of the room, there are nine other monoliths. What are they for? What is their purpose? Whatever they're for, we won't be using them this time. The first of the three is the boss with perhaps the greatest name in video games, Oh No Man. He, I would say, is the middle-of-the-road boss in terms of difficulty. Also, he, he's a man who doesn't have a head. The hardest boss of the three by far, I think, is this one, the Bull Stinger. This is apparently a reference to Blue Stinger, which I have not played, so I cannot say for sure if that is the case, but the Bull Stinger is definitely the hardest of the three, and we would only pick that if we want a challenge. Right now, however, I think this is the one we'll be picking, the easiest of the three. Look who it is, it's Donald Cashman, or as the poster says, Dollar Chura. We didn't actually get to have a proper fight with Cashman last time, so I think we only owe it to him to pick him this time. And now it's time for the last boss fight of Illbleed, or rather I should say the first of the last boss fights of Illbleed. And we're going up against Donald Cashman's reincarnated spider form. This time there is no remote control to use to make him jump into the walls. This time we're using our machine gun, and we get to see what he can actually do in battle. 
As we can see, as uh, as we saw last time, he drops Cashman Juniors on top of us while he crawls around on the ceiling and drops acid. All we have to do is kill the Cashman Juniors and he'll come back down from the ceiling. And we can continue to open fire with our machine gun. Now as you may have saw, we picked up an axe as well as a machine gun, but I wouldn't really recommend using it in these fights as it is much faster and easier to use the machine gun, even though the axe can do more damage. Cashman's main attack is that he jumps at us. However, he does telegraph those jumps, so they're not difficult to dodge. Uh, to compare to this, the Bull Stinger jumps much faster, much farther, and gives no telegraph. So he is much more difficult uh, in comparison to the uh, Cashman Spider. Oh No Man is completely different as far as, uh, as far as the boss goes, as far as what you have to do to beat him and what his patterns are like. But Cashman has a very simple pattern. He'll jump at us a few times, we can shoot him, or we can use the axe. As I said, I don't recommend that because that happens. He hits us because we are standing right up close to him. And there is a delay when you use the axe. When you bring the axe out and when you put it away, there is a very short delay which gives Cashman the opportunity to hit you. The gun, there is a much shorter delay, so I would really recommend using that. Now I said this is the first uh, last boss fight of Illbleed. We are not going to be fighting all three bosses at once, however. You get to choose which boss you fight to uh, complete the Haunted House adventure. But of course we will be seeing what the other boss fights are like. I just chose this one because it is the easiest. So we'll be going through these in terms of difficulty. We're doing this one first, then we'll do Oh No Man, and then we'll do the Dreaded Bull Stinger. On another note, I actually have not yet ever defeated the Bull Stinger, so that should be fun. But as you can see, Donald Cashman is getting low on health. So this wasn't much of a challenge, really. But that will change later on. Cashman makes one more jump towards the ceiling, and I should mention that the ending we're going to be getting now is the good ending. We'll also be taking a look at the other endings, the bad ending and the true ending, but the good ending we'll be getting first, as good as you might consider it to be. Really, the true ending is the one that makes this game worth it. And just like that, Cashman is no more, and we have won! We have completed Illbleed!